What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the multiplication property of equality for fractions, okay? So here is our first example. X over five is equal to 20. Okay, so remember, the point of these problems is to isolate the variable by itself on one side. So that means I have to get rid of this fraction bar and this five somehow. And remember, the fraction bar means division, okay? So X over five, that's the same thing as X divided by five, right? So how can I undo this division? Well, I could multiply, right? So in order to get rid of this fraction bar and this five right here, we need to multiply. Okay, but multiply by what? Well, whatever we're trying to get rid of, okay? So if we wanna get rid of this five down here, we're gonna multiply by five on top. Okay, so here's our fraction bar, right? We wanna put the five on top. Why do we wanna do that? Well, because we want it to cancel out with what's on the bottom. Okay, because if I did it the other way, because if I had x over five, and then I multiplied by five on the bottom, if I simplified this, this would just be x over five times five, which is just 25, right? So we still have this fraction bar here, and we just have a different number now. So that didn't help us at all, right? But if you put this five on top, like we are here, what does that do with this bottom five? Well, they cancel each other out. Okay, because I'll just write it over here. When you have the same number on the top and the bottom, they cancel each other out or basically just reduce. Okay, because what's five over five or five divided by five? Well, that's just one, right? So here we have a five on top, we have a five on the bottom. So these are just gonna simplify to one. Okay, so then on top, now you can see all we're left with is one times x okay and now before we move on remember whatever you do to one side of an equation you have to do to the other right so if we're going to multiply by five over here we also have to multiply by five over here okay so let's simplify some stuff so on the left side right here i have one times x and then that's going to be equal to right equal to 20 times 5 20 times 5 Okay, so now we can simplify some things, right? What's one times x? That's just x, right? And then that's equal to 20 times five. What is 20 times five? 100, okay? So your final answer here would just be x is equal to 100. All right, let's try a couple more. Okay, so here we have h over nine is equal to negative seven. So again, h over nine is the same thing as h divided by nine, right? So in order to undo division, we have to multiply. And remember, we have to multiply on top, okay? What are we gonna multiply by? Well, whatever we're trying to get rid of, okay? So if we're trying to isolate H over here, that means we're trying to get rid of this nine. So we're gonna multiply by nine, okay? So now you can see we have nine times H over nine, right? But remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other, okay? So if we multiply by nine here, we have to multiply by nine right here. Okay, now we can simplify some things, right? So we have the same number on top and on the bottom. So those reduce or simplify to just one. So all we're gonna be left with on this side is just H, okay? Then that's equal to negative seven times nine. And what is that equal to? Well, seven times nine is 63, right? And then a negative times a positive is a negative, okay? So your answer here would be H is equal to negative 63. All right, guys, so that's how you use the multiplication property of equality for fractions. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have questions, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.